Hey guys, it's going to see again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. Today I want to talk about goals and what are some of the things that I've been doing over the last years to make sure that I'm accomplishing goals and what things you can do to, you know, make sure that you're accomplishing your milestones, make sure that you're finishing and you're making progress because I think that ultimately is one of the things that we want to accomplish is we want to make sure that we're making progress we're completing things and then we're growing, you know, whatever it is that we're trying to do. If you're making a game and you're finishing that game, or if you have an idea of a project, what kind of things you can do to make sure that you accomplish those goals. So some of the things that I've been doing over the last few years have been, you know, very simple. I write down, you know, every Sunday, what kind of things I want to make sure that I release or that I want to make sure that I do. For instance, when I started working on my game, that game seemed that it was going to be you know easy i thought it was going to be easier than i thought and of course when you get into the game and you start looking at you know all the complexities the mechanics you know physics and in trying to put all that together it really becomes really complicated so one of the things that i that i've been learning to do is to make sure that i do make big goals so on sundays i have at least in trello that i work on and these are the milestones that i want to accomplish over the next five years these are the milestones and then I have another column for milestones that I want to accomplish over the next year or two, depending on what I want to do. And then I have another one that I do, you know, just to make sure that I'm, I'm making progress is what are some of the short term goals, things that I can do right now that are going to allow me to get to those big milestones. So that are the long term goals. So making sure that you're iterating through that and you're looking at your goals, writing them down, reviewing them. And I'm not saying you need to look at them every single day because I don't look at them every day, but it's always good to spend, you know, a few minutes on Sundays and look at your goals as a whole, you know, close your eyes. It might sound poetic, but I do close my eyes and I think about, you know, what things I want to accomplish long term. I want to, for instance, I, I've been wanting to release a game and I release a game, you know, it took me three years. So I was able to do that. I went through that exercise. It, I didn't do goals as good as I did on the other game, which was Cubics. And the reason why I released Cubics in such a short time is because I was able to focus. I was able to, to look at what I wanted to do for the game. I, I plan ahead, I reiterate it, and I learned from the experience that I did, you know, working on a game for about three years. So what do I do today to make sure that I accomplish my goals? And, and this is one of the things that I'm doing right now because I'm working on YouTube. I'm bringing you guys content. You know, one of my goals was to make sure that I could talk, you know, behind a camera. I can talk to you guys and I was going to feel comfortable. And, and honestly, I feel really comfortable right now. I really enjoy talking to everybody because it's no longer a camera. It's going to be actually you listening to me. So in addition to that, I really appreciate you guys listening to me. But just to go back to topic, make sure that you're setting up goals for yourself. So one goal that I had in my YouTube channel is I wanted to reach, you know, 5,000 5, subscribers. And numbers are not important, but I really wanted to grow the community. I wanted more people to be able to see, you know, the content that I was bringing. So that was my one milestone. I had another milestone of doing 10,000 subscribers. I accomplished that. I had another milestone of doing 15,000 subscribers. Now the next one is 20. And my long-term goal is to get to 100,000 people that have followed me in, in YouTube. And why do I want to reach that goal? It's because I have another long-term goal. I want to be able to you know, build a game with the income that I'm making from YouTube and, you know, also be able to find the game my, on my own and not having to have a day job. So one of my, one of my goal is to be able to do this full time. So it takes a lot of time. I know that, you know, every day that I wake up in, in the morning, which is at 4 a.m., I think about how difficult it, this is. And, but the cool thing is I, I'm able to look at the goals that I accomplished previously and, and I sit down and, and there's sometimes when, you know, you're overwhelmed, there's just so much going on. You know, my kids have activities, I have family responsibilities, I have my day job, I have to complete projects. In addition, I have the YouTube channel, I have games that I have in the store. So there's a lot of different things that are going on. I have to set up mail lists, I have to do newsletters, I'm making prototypes. So think about all the things that, you know, and I'm, and I'm making me as an example because I've been struggling through this as well it's not as easy as it, it might seem and and i know it's difficult but i think that thing that worked for me is making sure that i'm making milestones and i'm making those goals really small so make sure that you do that make sure that you don't take goals for granted because honestly it doesn't matter if you're making you know a really small game or if you're making a big game make sure that you're setting milestones and you're always reviewing those 
on a weekly basis. That's what I recommend because I think over time you're going to realize that, you know, spending time on those goals and looking at them is what allow you to release your game, to release your app, to do whatever you think you want to do in the future. That is really important. So that's everything that I wanted to show you, actually talk to you today, not show you. I'm used to doing prototypes and telling you, show you. But I really appreciate your time. I really, really mean that because, you know, doing what I'm doing in social media and YouTube and talking to you guys has been really fascinating to me. And I know a lot of you are listening to me right now. So I wanted to say thank you. And if you guys have any questions on goals or anything that I mentioned, let me know in the comments because I'm always happy, you know, to have conversations back and forth. I really enjoy that. And also be sure to check me out in Patreon if you guys have additional questions. I have a one-on-one -on -one chat there that I'm doing now. So thank you very much, guys.